Hi guys, um, seems like quite a few of you want to know a little bit more about Critter. So um, today I'm going to showcase uh, two features. One is using the layering to uh, create additional items after you finish your photo, your graphics. The other is really using styles to change the, uh, the way the um, graphics actually look. So I won't bother with you with my uh, terrible drawing. Um, so, I, but at least I think you know what I'm trying to draw here. So again, so I drew this um, to be like a street with a red uh, car. I meant it to be a Ferrari. So, um, and then with all these uh, gray buildings on the side. And let's start the uh, AI generation. So um, again, you can see here with all the uh, different styles that I actually created. You can actually do this uh, manually, but uh, it's quite uh, labor intensive. You just have to type it. And um, but let's let's try see uh, how it actually does. So we use the uh, light function LCM, uh, light painting, and then uh, let's do it like around seventy six or uh, seventy five. And uh, I say red Ferrari in the street of Hong Kong, night time. Let's see let's see how it looks like. And um, all right, so now we use a photorealistic. You can see it right here. It actually generated quite a nice one. So let's maybe let's let's do another one. Let's see what it looks like. Again. All right. Uh, I like this one because I can see the front, even though I meant it to be the back. But uh, oops, uh, change it. But uh, let's try again. Uh, it's kind of strange here. All right, let's use this as the base. And now, um, and I like this better. All right, now I'll have a Ferrari in the store of Hong Kong. You can see it's photorealistic. Let's change different styles, see what it looks like. 3D model, let's take a look at what actually what they, that gives me all right um that's obviously you can see right here uh advertising so it's a little more colorful more distinct uh, anime anime so i was assume more like japanese uh, anime style And uh, Art Deco. A little cleaner. Oh, this interesting blueprint schematic. It doesn't really do the blueprint. Uh, maybe something wrong with my prompt, but let's not deal with that right now. Digital artwork. And uh, let's do something a little bit crazier. Dreamscape. Not that. Maybe fantasy art would be a little better. Um, sometimes, because this is so distinct and so um, deliberate that uh, it's hard to generate different style. So we have to go back to the initial um, photo drawing that I have and then you can go into um, the fantasy art thing and uh, it would go back to the stylistic to really generate the distinct style so we can go back here and take a look again I think you, you will see a big difference you definitely see a big difference now um, I mean, you do it twice, then you can really generate something quite significantly different from what I showed you earlier. Let's go back here, and now let's go back to the advertising one. Let's see what it looks like. Now you can see. Quite different. Um, let's go back to the... Uh, 
play the schematic and see whether it works this time. So it give you an outline. Oops. Um, ah. Let's go back here. Let's remove the layer. Copy it. You can see uh, quite quite a bit different from before. And uh, we can try fantasy art again. It's quite nice. Let's try um Geometric minim minimalist. A little bit like the uh, blueprint schematic before. Um, Now we have some uh, Monet Impressionist, some artistic style. I don't think it really looked like it, but uh, and uh, Van Gogh. Does it look like it? Or well, maybe this one. A little bit more artistic. And um, you can try a watercolor wash. So that gives you a watercolor. Hyper stylistic. Is the second one really not nice now? Even a third one. Look at that. All right. Um, this just to showcase you different styles that I got right here. But how do you actually do that? I mean, when you install your critter, you don't get all the styles that you want. You actually go in here in the little uh, gear. It will open up the style preset, and over here you can you would actually go into uh, you can do a new style by pressing the plus sign. And what it does is you choose a model, what model you want to use. These are models that you can download from uh, Civit AI. I can, I'll leave that on the link. And um, I use the Juggernaut Excel uh, version 9 because uh, that's, that one's quite nice. And then you actually type in the, uh, the prompt here. There is a positive prompt and there's a negative prompt. And you just need to type in some of the prompt for this that specific stylistic uh, that you want. And how do you get that? Uh, you just go on the web and actually uh, search for it. And I will probably uh, include a link for my uh, uh, Google Drive where you can download all the different styles that you in there. And all you need to do is just press this folder here. It will open up that. Uh, uh, actually, this is for the uh, model. I'm sorry. This is the uh, stylistic folder. You can just put in all the different styles in here. And they are actually just a retype of all the prompts that is actually in here. So you don't have to do that on your own. And when you download your model, you can just put it right here. Um, so basically, just put your model in here. And uh, you, then you can use that model. And um, that's the first part of, it, of the two things I want to introduce. The other thing that I, I would like to show you is use, using layering. For example, let's go back to um, the watercolor wash because I quite like that one. Uh, let's try that and then um, let it produce another one. All right. All right, now um, 
I thought, well, this is quite nice, but then I want maybe a, let's say a moon right there. But I don't want it to really uh, to damage this, this change any of the features of this graphics I've created. Then you, what you do, you, you actually go in the layer and uh, you go add a new layer right there, add a new layer. You cannot see it right here, but it's actually separated from this graphics right here. So whatever I draw on it, it's not going to damage or affect this graphics that I have already created. So now let's do that. Uh, let's say I draw a yellow moon. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll make it pretty ugly, but let's do that. Uh, uh, wrong color. Now go back to the, um, I just say, moon in the sky. Let's see what it does. Um, one thing that I forgot to do is I need to do the selection tool. You just select this part because that's all I really want. All right. Well, I want a bigger one. Oh, it looks um, okay, but let's use this one. And now I can actually add it back on there. See, if I actually take out the eye from this layer, you cannot see it. All right. But now I want to use this. I can just copy it right here. Then I say select, deselect. Now I actually add the moon back there. To make it a little, to actually to uh, maybe soften up the, um, the the interface or the uh, the line between the old one and the new one, new graphics. You can actually generate another one. But remember, you had to change back to the the prompt that I had earlier. Um, but since the strength is so low, it would actually follow my the combined drawing here and would not mess it up too much. Get okay, right here. All right. If you don't like that, just go back there, change a little bit, change the strength again, not to affect it so much. And um, all right, that's it, guys. Hope this helps.